大家好，我叫是李祥龙，然后我确定了。You know, any kid in America knows that there are just three words you never put together under no circumstances, and those words are back to school. Jeez, I've already graduated from school, and I, I, I feel sick to my stomach when I say this. And for the purpose of this video, I decided to do a Walmart haul video because it hasn't been done before. And here we are back again. At the Walmart, and so for this video, I've decided to buy two pairs of pants and maybe about five upper garments or something like that. So for the first one, we are going to go check out their jeans, specifically Levi's signature jeans. Now I've heard that their slim fit Levi's are okay, but I've also heard that they're not really Levi's. I think the situation is kind of like. You played sports in high school, but you weren't good enough to play varsity, so you played JV. You're on the team, but you're not on the team. 我觉得他们的颜色真好看，但是最好的颜色都已经买完了，所以，哦、oh, 天哪！如果还在，如果有这个，我天哪，非常六六六。Let's try something else. Uh, let's see what George has to offer. You know these don't really look as good as the Levi's. This is a really cool color. I like this one. Maybe this 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 could be a contender. I'm not sure. Why don't we go check out something else? No boundaries, men's jeans for 17 bucks. This isn't so bad. It's got the stressing. It's kind of nice. I'm feeling it. All right, I have no idea which one to get. They all look good. So why don't we check into their chinos? Kind of younger. 天哪，我我不知道。那我们去看别的。All of their flannels look dynamite. Yep, I'm gonna go with this one. Let's go check out their sweatshirts. George, what? What is this? <laughs> George. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Why, <It's> George, <laughs> Daddy Bush? All of these look pretty good, but gotta go with burgundy. All right, I think I did some pretty good damage. Now, right here, yeah, you're not gonna see it because I want to surprise you. I chose some jeans, but you're gonna find out what it is. In about a few seconds. So to show off the fact that all of these outfits are exclusively for casual purposes, I have decided to solely, pun intended, to use my pair of Chuck Taylors because it's not like any student wears these, right? And ironically, these were my high school pair of Chuck Taylors. Now I know what you're all thinking right now. 
probably thinking something along the lines of, well, Parker, why are those jeans different than the ones that you bought from Walmart? Now, let me explain. The other jeans that I bought from Walmart were so tight that you could practically see my excitement when I wore them. And uh, that's not a side of me that I want to share. However, on a quick side note, I bought these jeans from The Gap about a year ago. They're skinny jeans, and I'll tell you one thing, Gap is really good with jeans. Go cop a pair if you want. Uh, this video is not sponsored, by the way. I just like Gap jeans. Obviously, for the first look, I want it to be as relaxed as possible. And a very classic look for that is a pair of blue jeans on top with a sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is something like a hoodie, Henley hybrid thing. I, I, I've never s seen something like this before, so uh, I had to get it. I highly suggest you buy something like this if you see one. If for some strange reason you're not a fan of jeans, well, first of all, I don't know what the f is wrong with you, but you can also throw on a pair of chinos, you'll still look fine. Now I know that during these times, America is about one or two steps away from The Walking Dead. Now would be a perfect time to start preparing for the apocalypse by buying a field jacket. Now, besides the fact that you're probably gonna have to start loading up on supplies and you can put all of your medical supplies, your food, your whatever in those giant ass pockets, field jackets will kind of give you a little bit of a rugged vibe, if I may say. And if you know how to layer beneath a field jacket, it's gonna look really good. So for my layering technique, I just decided to just throw on the field jacket over my sweatshirt. And it's had nothing to do with the fact that I was too lazy to do anything else. You know, I was kind of already wearing the sweatshirt, so might as well just, okay, let's just move on. Say what? I'm wearing a Henley under some sort of Henley sweatshirt hybrid? Yes, I am. And for your information, that's not just some ordinary Henley that makes you cool like some sort of commoner would wear. This is a thermal Henley. And the thermal Henley will kind of keep you a little bit warmer than your normal Henley. So you can still look cool when the weather is cold. And you can also throw on some stuff as some layers on top of that Henley. And well, you'll still look cool. Now, I'm not sure about you, but if you ever wanted to feel like some sort of a uh, hunk lumberjack, then you can't go wrong with buying a flannel. The most popular colors are red and yellow. And as you could see in this outfit, I decided to put it over the Henley that I was just previously wearing and keep it unbuttoned. But if you wanna button up this shirt, you can. And you can also wear it with chinos if you want. 